Hi, I'm Anne Wawado. Here's your channel TV morning news update for February the 26th, 2020. The Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria, Amcon, is taking over the Abuja residence and other assets, including a company, Betco Nigeria Limited, belonging to Mr. Buba Galadima, a former political ally of President Muhammad Buhari. According to a statement by Amcon, Betco Nigeria Limited and Galadima are owing about 900 million naira. Meanwhile, Mr. Buba Galadima has denied knowledge of the allegations of indebtedness against him and his company. According to him, neither him nor his company are indebted to Amcon. To Judiciary Matters, counsel to former National Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, Mr. Oli Sametu, has said that an appeal will be filed quickly to review the judgment of the Federal High Court in Abuja, which sentenced his client to seven years in prison. The trial judge, Justice Okun Abang, on Tuesday convicted Mr. Meitu on seven counts of money laundering and criminal diversion of funds to the tune of 400 million naira. He ordered that the sentence would commence with immediate effect, bringing an end to the case, which had lingered for about four years. In Kano State, the government has banned street begging of Almajiri children in a bid to fully consolidate the free and compulsory primary and secondary schools education policy in the state. Governor Abdullahi Ganduje made this known during the launch of basic education service delivery for all and the distribution of offer of appointment to 7,500 volunteer teachers held at the Sunny Abacha Stadium, Kafor Mata, on Tuesday. He also says that parents or guardians of the children still found in the act will be taken to court for disrespecting the law. On the international scene, Iran's deputy health minister has tested positive for the new coronavirus, a ministry official said on Tuesday amid a major outbreak in the Islamic Republic. The country has confirmed three more deaths and 34 new infections, taking its overall death toll to 15 and infection to 95. Adding sports, the Minister of Youth and Sports Development Sunday Dari insists Team Nigeria will be ready to compete at the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. Mr. Dari said this his ministry will present the athletes with the support and opportunities they need to excel at the multi-sports event. And that's the morning news update. Don't forget to join us later for the evening recap. I'm Anne Wawodu. Thank you for watching.